You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Dwell on the beauty of life. Watch the stars and see yourself running with them. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. When you arise in the morning, think of what a privilege it is to be alive, to think, to enjoy, to love. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. The soul becomes dyed with the colour of its thoughts. It is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. Accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. Never let the future disturb you. You will meet it, if you have to, with the same weapons of reason which today arm you against the present. If someone is able to show me that what I think or do is not right, I will happily change, for I seek the truth by which no one was ever truly harmed. It is the person who continues in his self-deception and ignorance who is harmed. I have often wondered how it is that it is the man loves himself more than all the rest of men, but yet sets less value on his own opinion of himself than on the opinion of others. If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. The object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. The best revenge is not to be like your enemy. Reject your sense of injury and the injury itself disappears. How much more grievous are the consequences of anger than the causes of it? The first rule is to keep an untroubled and unspirit. The second is to look, thing to look things in the face and know them for what they are. Do not act as if you were going to live 10,000 years. Death hangs over you. While you live, while it is in your power, be good. Think of yourself as dead. You have lived your life. Now take what's left and live it properly. What doesn't transmit light creates its own darkness. Here is a rule to remember in future. When anything tempts you to feel bitter, not this is misfortune, but to bear this worthily is good fortune. Well into thyself, there is a source of strength which will always spring up if thou wilt always look. How much time he gains, who does not look to see what his neighbour says or does or thinks, but only at what he does himself, to make it just and holy. You always own the option of having no opinion. There is never any need to get worked up or to trouble your soul about things you can't control. These things are not asking to be judged by you. Leave them alone. Begin each day by telling yourself, today I shall be meeting with interference, ingratitude, insolence, disloyalty, ill will and selfishness, all of them due to the offender's ignorance of what is good or evil. 
You are a little soul carrying about a corpse, as Epictetus used to say. Do every act of your life as though it were the very last act of your life. Do not indulge in dreams of having what you have not, but reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess, and then thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. Perfection of character is this, to live each day as if it were your last, without frenzy, without apathy, without pretense. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Look back over the past with its changing empires that rose and fell, and you can foresee the future too. For it is in your power to retire into yourself whenever you choose. Your days are numbered. Use them to throw open the windows of your soul to the sun. If you do not, the sun will soon set, and you with it. The universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Remember that very little is needed to make a happy life. A man's worth is no greater than the worth of his ambitions. Never esteem anything as of advantage to you that will make you break your word or lose your self-respect. Don't go on discussing what a good person should be. Just be one. Receive without conceit, release without struggle. It is in your power to withdraw yourself whenever you desire. Perfect tranquility within consists in the good ordering of the mind, the realm of your own. If any man despises me, that is his problem. My only concern is not doing or saying anything deserving of contempt. The things you think about determine the quality of your mind. A person's worth is measured by the worth of what he values. How ridiculous and how strange to be surprised at anything which happens in life. It never ceases to amaze me. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. Life is neither good or evil, but only a place for good and evil. Whatever anyone does or says, I must be emerald and keep my colour. <laughs>